Hi everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to week 12 of building my Lego room. And you may be thinking, where's the Lego? Well, I am currently in my old or former Lego room. So in my Bricklink room, this is where all my Bricklink was. And as you can see, it's pretty empty in here. So that can only mean one thing. So without further ado, Let's go up to the new Lego room and take a look inside. Okay everyone, so here we are outside the completed, or I would say 95% completed, still not 100%, um, Lego room. Um, and you'll probably be able to see a glimpse in through the door there that is far from empty now. So without further ado, again, Let's walk into the Lego room now so you can see the progress, but probably more importantly, what the inside of that room now looks like because it is far from empty. Let's go and take a look right now. Okay, so as we move inside the Lego room, let me move back down to somewhere down this end. Um, so yeah, you can see there's a lot of Lego in here. But we are indeed in the room so this area here you'll see a huge stack if i get closer of lego city sets there they are sets that i've been collecting for the past probably couple of years for when i do build my lego city um, as you can see there are lots and lots of sets there so they are to be built i've already got some sets that are built i've got modulars that are built which will be going in the lego city so these tables that you see going around here are my temporary tables for the Lego City. Um, so all that space there is going to be used up for Lego City. It will be bigger when I build my own tables in here because I'll take up some of this space as well. I'll probably have a little access there and then build across here. Um, also, you can see down the floor here, actually, this is uh, what Ethan's been doing. Um, he built a train track in here so that he could start playing up here already. It was bigger than this, but I had to obviously make it smaller because um, I needed the space. Um, quite simply over here actually on this table this is all organized in here is uh, in the main stuff that needs to be put into my Bricklink store uh, mainly uh, complete sets but you'll also see I've got quite a few boxes full boxes of minifigures there and there and there's more underneath that lot which need to be sorted and again put into my Bricklink store that box is full of can't even remember what but there are sets in there that need to be sorted over here we've got some of the temporary arrangements for the Bricklink store Right, then if we look at this end of the room, um, including here, some of this is temporary, we have got uh, what is, well, pretty much my Brickling store. So you'll see here, these are all numbered um, and they obviously are relevant to me and my Brickling store. So I know where all the pieces are. So like, for example, in there, you can see lots of uh, one by four white um, plates um, and like blue grey ones there, we've got black ones, etc. etc. Anyway, that's not what this is about. You will see here, get the focus, lots of racking with new sets. So I have lots of new sets in my Bricklink store as I pan round. I've got containers there that again are full. We're gonna have a look. Sets. I've got more of these containers. This is the way I do my Bricklink store. These will be on shelves. I need to get more shelves in here because at the moment it just means they're difficult to get to if I need to get something out of that bottom one. More stuff there and there. And then if I pan around here, we've got some more rack in here. Um, and again, this is better organized. Um, you can see here, lots of containers again with the individual pieces in. More sets up on the top of that shelf. Over here, we've got a stack of drawers going down here. And this is mainly poly bags. As you can see in there, and just to show you another drawer again there, full of poly bags. Um, over here again, we've got some more drawers, um, packaging, envelopes, etc. There's more stuff in here. I'll open this drawer up again, more poly bags. A little stack on there again, that's stuff that's in my Brickling store. Some more stack ons there. Anyway, you kind of get the gist of it. Um, and if I go back here, um, obviously you'll see, like I said, this end is the Brickling store. That's kind of, I guess, the section off area. And then this end becomes the lego city end which still is a very good size um i think that is pretty much it down here this is all stuff again it needs to be built the stuff in there for the lego city there's castle stuff in there 
Uh, that container down there is full, hopefully you can see, full of Star Wars minifigures. Uh, we've got cases there for my minifig, uh, collectible minifig collection, and you'll see there, there's loads of them there, which have got my collectible minifigs in. Um, nice little painting there. Um, so, I think that is pretty much it. Oh, that table there is where I intend to do the haul videos, etc. Um, but we will see, because I think it's going to be quite tight in here to be able to do that. So we may have to do those back in the house, but we'll give it a try. Um, see if we can work that out. I've got some more racking, which has actually turned up today. So I'm going to get that built, um, get it in here. I've got some corner racking. I'm going to move some of this around. Be able to get some of this stuff off this table then and get that put away. Um, but like I said, that is pretty much it for the Lego room. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this series. Like I said, it's probably around about 95% complete. There are a few things to get uh, done to finish this room. Not very much now, it's now secure. It's got locks, alarm, etc. which I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna share that, the security side with you, but it is secure. Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed this video and indeed this series, please give it that big thumbs up just to let me know. Just to let me know you have enjoyed it. Like always, comments, questions, feedback down in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Please go ahead, wherever it is, hit it, hit it, subscribe. Um, there will probably be one more of these, possibly two, so that will take us 13 or 14, and then hopefully we will get, oh, where's my finger? <laughs> we will get started on this lot over here. Um, and I've got other, like, like I said, other oh, sets to get in here that are built already, some modulars, some other Lego City sets, etc. Um, and then we can start mocking as well and creating our own stuff. Um, but anyway, that's it for now, guys. Like I said, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Do all the great things, like, subscribe, blah, 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 comment, share. Share the videos as well. Please go ahead and do that. And that just leaves me to say, I very much look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye. Bye for now, everyone. Cheers. Bye. See you later.